Hey everybody, this is Jason from The Rogue Banshee and thank you for joining Team Banshee today as we talk about the Cheetah holster from my friends over at Falco. Now, it's been a while since we've done a first five and well, it's time to do one. I've got two holsters right here on the bench, have not opened them. Let's see what these Cheetah holsters are all about. Now, this one is for the SIG 220 and yes, these firearms are unloaded, they've already been checked. And this one here is for my Glock 26. So let's get going right now. So first of all, we're going to open up the 220 because well, I really like my SIG 220 and I don't have a holster that works well with that. Now the nice thing about these holsters here is that they have a thumb strap plus they have this level 2 retention right here. And this one I had etched with the actual Banshee logo, which turned out really nice. I kind of like that etching. But let's see how the 220 fits in here. Now, of course, this is leather and I'm going to have to season this a little bit. But there we go, a little bit of force and it's in. And yes, the thumb strap will reach around. And to draw this thing, since it locks into the trigger guard, I'll have to hit the thumb rest here. And, of course, being leather, it's stuck in there pretty good. So, that did pretty good. I like it. And, of course, like I said, these are going to have to get broken in. But, yeah, this, this thing is really nice. And I kind of like that level of two retention. You just kind of grab that thumb and pull. And if the leather would let this thing out. There we go. Really cool. So you are going to have to season these things because they are leather. Now the stitching here, they did a great job. I come to expect a lot from Falco holsters and the stitching here is just perfect. I really like this. Edges are really nice. So I have the black edging put onto this brown holster. And uh, yeah, the edging is really nice. Great quality work. This is why I like Falco holsters. Now let's open up this Glock 26 and uh, see what this is. Now, of course, this one's probably going to need to be seasoned as well. And I will use the uh, seasoning kit that I have for these holsters. Now, this one I did a little different. Um, this one I did a black holster. And I did blue stitching, and this turned out really amazing. Uh, I really like that blue stitching, and as usual, man, that is really great. And I also did a blue edge. Uh, blue edge kind of came out a little purple, um, probably because of the black leather. But still, it looks really cool having that edge. This is the first holster I've had a different um, type of edging around. And um, this one is also a little different, where this one has the two belt loops. This one here just has the one belt loop that goes through the middle. I wanted to try them both out, so we'll get these out to the range and play with them. And of course, I'll be carrying them. And there goes the 26. 26 goes in really nice. And uh, yeah, really good. And... I can see the trigger guard right here where it goes in and it'll lock into that trigger guard. And of course you have the thumb brake as well. And the 26 is a much smaller gun than that, um, that P220. And here's where the seasoning of the leather is going to come in. So it's going to be hard to pull this thing back out. But yeah, we'll get that seasoned up and it's really nice. Uh, I'll have to get a picture, a close-up picture. You can see the locking mechanism right here. When you push that in, it, it kind of pulls away from the trigger guard. Now, they don't have these for a whole lot of guns. They have for, for some. Um, they don't have them for the SIG P320, or else I would have had one for the 320. Um, but, yeah, these are, uh, these are pretty slick. I kind of, I kind of like the, uh, the fit, well, the fit's going to be tight, so I'm going to set the fit. But 
but I really like how they lock in. I mean, you can see right here, right there is where that trigger guard was. Right there is where it was catching. And uh, yeah, these things are awesome. Um, definitely, definitely like the contrast that I did under these. Um, and all these edges are perfect. I don't see any rough edge and I don't see any stray st uh, stitching. Really kind of like the black. Um, I tend to go to the browns, but that black looks really good. And, well, that's the end of our, uh, our first five of these Falco holsters. So if you're watching on YouTube right there, I have another holster video about Falco holsters. These ones I did last year. Check them out. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there. I look forward to seeing you again soon.